On the news tonight, an number of state governments urges residents to embrace tax payment as civic responsibility. Pace of work accelerates on Isofia Nanka Road. Federal government acquires aircraft stimulator to build capacity of pilots. Two Montreal colleges go into lockdown following shootings in Canada. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukumastoludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give you maximum support for the task ahead. Good evening and welcome to the news. My name is Maureen Stone Enujake. Anambra State Government has identified tax payment and other civic duties as key to financing and moving the state economy forward. The Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning, Ms. Chiamaka Nake, disclosed this during the breakdown of the 2023 budget presented by Governor Chukuma Surudu to the State's House of Assembly. The budget breakdown took place at the Government House Oka. Government House Correspondent Ijikabana reports. 2023 budget size is 258 billion 980 Eighty-four million eight hundred and seventy-five thousand and nine hundred and five naira, which is approximately two hundred and fifty-nine point zero billion naira. Capital expenditure is one hundred and eight point two billion naira, while recurrent expenditure is ninety-five point five billion naira. According to Miss Nake, infrastructural projects account for 55.4 percent of the capital expenditure and 35.0 percent of the entire budget size she pointed out that the 90 billion naira loan to be received in 2022 will be rolled over to 2023 speaking on the key deliverables for 2023 in ministries departments and agencies the commissioner explained that in the ministry of culture entertainment and tourism Phase 1 of the Leisure Park project will go up 7 billion 500 million naira, while Ministry of Education will take 8 billion 380 million 805,104 naira as part of the present administration's effort to revamp the education system. We hope that every budget we can produce will have things that Indian Ambra, um, projects that Indian Ambra can feel, touch and experience, so it's not budget that you cannot really, um, that are not tangible, numbers that are not tangible. So we try to highlight the key projects that this budget aims to achieve in 2023. So the first is the Leisure Park project. It's a project that will be delivered in Ministry of Culture, Entertainment and Industry, and that's 7.5 billion budgeted for it. In order to introduce a new order in the Ministry of Health, the Commissioner noted that 6,203,780,519 Naira will be injected as the Ministry of Works will take 2 billion Naira for site design and preparation for industrial cities, EPZ, while completion of ongoing road projects and construction of new ones is pegged at 70 billion naira as well as the urban regeneration of anambra in form of iconic designs road mapping among others which will take 2 billion 500 million naira ministry of youth development will champion the development of anambra innovation and business district at 1 billion naira while youth innovation and empowerment program will take 2 billion 500 million naira 4 billion 500 million naira was mapped out for the Ministry of Housing for housing projects including Government House and Lodge as well as Commissioner's Quarters while 2 billion 869 million 610,000 naira was earmarked for the Ministry of Transport to improve the transport infrastructure, revamp water transport with boats and buses for mass transit. 500 million naira was set apart for the Ministry of Homeland Security as a way to sustain security in the state to purchase armored personnel carriers and other security equipment while Office of the Governor will take 506,187,326 naira as 5% of derivation for special intervention projects targeted at oil producing communities. 
the Ministry of Agriculture will take 1 billion 500 million naira for procurement of oil palm and coconut seedlings program among others. The Commissioner for Information, Sir Paul Mwosu, press secretary to the governor, Mr. Christian Aburime, among others, attended the briefing. From the government house, Oka, AGK Abana, ABS News. A number of st stakeholders have commended the state's 2023 budget proposal, expressing hope that the state will work stronger under the leadership of Professor Chogoma Surito when well implemented. The reactions came from those that spoke to the ABS shortly after presentation of the 2023 budget proposal by the state governor, Professor Soluto, at the state's House of Assembly. In Oka, correspondent Emmanuel Okonkwo tells us more. The National President of Anambra State Association of Town Unions, Asatu, Barista Titus Aodo, and the President of Hanezendibo, Anambra State, Prince Emeka Udo Deme, described the Anambra's 2023 budget as budget of hope, as according to them, all the senatorial districts in the state are well represented, calling on members of the State House of Assembly to expedite action for speedy passage of the budget for all-round positive transformation of the state. Any state to have direction of project on there must be a budget. And that is what the House looked at today and gave it a nod. They passed it, passed, passed the first and second reading, awaiting the third reading. And since, as they confirm, that the document presented to them is quite perfect, I believe that it won't have a problem. And once it is passed, then it will accelerate. All the senatorial districts are adequately represented in that budget. It is a budget of hope. The budget is budget of the people. And of course, it is meant for the House to look at it, digest it, and do justice to it. And we believe that this House are, are experienced, are men of experience, men of integrity, they will do that for an umbrellians. His Excellency has now presented a very sound budget that if they follow it up, will grow very high. And I thank God we have a very nice speaker who is very knowledgeable, who is very intelligent, who is very good. And they are working together and they will move the state forward. Massive construction work is ongoing on Isofia Nanka Road with a spot to Adimara Road, Nanka. The road was flagged off recently by Governor Chukuma Soludo. Correspondent Gozo Bileri monitored pace of work on the road and reports that up to 40% of work has been completed on the route. The reports. The Isuafia Nanka Road with a spot to Adimora Road, Nanka, is 2.2 kilometers in length and a virgin road. At the site, drainage construction was ongoing at both sides of the road from Isuafia Axis with earthwork going on simultaneously. ABS met various heavy duty equipment working at various stages, which brought about speedy delivery on the site. Speaking to the ABS, the project manager, Engineer Salom Sawal, said they started work on the road 10 days ago and has done up to 40%. According to Engineer Sawal, the road will be 7.3 meters from drain to drain, while the drainage will be 1 meter by 1 meter with a 5 centimeters asphalt. He said that the road will be completed by 20th of December this year and appreciated Governor Soludo for trusting AG Vision Construction Company with the project, promising not to disappoint him. 10 days to 2 weeks. Uh, we are uh, currently in uh, Isofia Nanka Road, uh, about 2.2 kilometers. We are doing now drain, two sides, left side and the right side. The drain going on uh, and uh, already we don't remove the unsuitable materials and we do some filling from up going down. Uh, we try our best to deliver this job, Nanka Isofia Road before 20 of December this year, 100%. And we are trying to give the Anambra State good job with 100% standard work. From the Isuafia Nanka Road, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS News. Medical Director of Chukwemeka Odume Gujuku University Teaching Hospital, Oka, Dr. Joe Akabike says the hospital will work out a plan with the management of a number of broadcasting service, ABS, to hold routine medical checkup for the staff of the organization to cement the cordial relationship between the two institutions. 
Dr. Kabike was speaking when he led the management team of the hospital on a courtesy visit to the managing director of ABS, Sachido Obidego in Oka, the report. According to the Coyote CMD, the visit was to cement the cordial relationship and existing collaborations of the two establishments towards making Anambra State a better place. He said the plan when concluded will not only assure that the staff of ABS will assess better health service that would help increase their productivity to deliver on their responsibility to remain Anambra major information engine room, as well as serve as platform to better educate the Anambra populace on best health practices such as always eating balanced diet, living active lifestyle, engaging in exercise and need to avoid fatty foods. Dr. Akabike also congratulated Sachido on his appointment as MD of ABS. Also, we want to actually appreciate the ABS. Uh, they've been working with us, you know, cordially uh, in dissemination and necessary information to the entire society. Uh, if, you, if you do anything and the information doesn't get to the people that's supposed to get them, you have not done anything. And uh, ABS has been a, a variable uh, variable tool in all these uh, things we've been doing. And uh, that's why we come to cement this our uh, relationship and also for the fact that we are working for the same government. Responding, Sachido thanked the Coyote management for the visit and promised that ABS will continue to live up its responsibility of informing, educating and entertaining residents of the state and beyond, especially as it regards to good health practices. Sachido commended the CMD and his workers at Coyote for the selfless job they are doing for the society, noting that there have been visible improvements in discharge of their duties. You see, they say that health is wealth, yes. and it goes without saying that that statement is uh, axiomatic. Mr. Governor, Professor Chukumata Solido speaks to the fact that uh, he wants to build a livable, uh, prosperous, prosperous, clean, green, secure homeland. And recently he's talking about the fact that he wants to make a number of the industrial, technology, and leisure hub. The CMD Coyotes presented health materials, including hand sanitizers, to ABS. Inoka, Blessing Dennis for ABS News. A philanthropist and community leader in Umawulu, Oka South local government area, Prince Martin Ekwazo, has celebrated his maiden New Year festival. The cultural event held at Prince Ekwazo's country home in Awana village, Umawulu, attracted friends, townsmen, business associates, and featured masquerades, cultural dance displays, among others. Joseph Ebocha has the details. Among the visitors were the President General of Nibo Community, Professor Tony Wonkoye, and Chief Chukuno Sonwonkike, also from Nibo, who said the event is about promoting Igbo culture by celebrating Yam as king of crops and described the celebrant as man of the people. <laughs> Others, including the House of Assembly candidate for Kanot constituency, Honorable Gozier Kwozo and Honorable Patrick Ezekudo, said such cultural event helps in promoting Igbo culture and tradition, as well as strengthening bond of unity for members of the community. <laughs> In his remark, the celebrant Prince Ekwazo said bountiful harvest calls for such celebration coming after the traditional ruler of the community, Igwe Jewel Egwongu, had performed Iwaji as custom demands. He commended Governor Chuku Masoludo for his efforts in governance so far and called for people's support to enable him deliver on his campaign promises. 
Why calling on people to vote competence in coming general elections? Prince Ekwazo called for government attention to the needs of communities that make up Obizi, noting that developmental projects in the area are mostly from individual efforts. From Omawolo, Yanaka South Local Government Area, Joseph Ebocha reporting for ABS News. The federal government has said that it had committed the sum of $21 million to acquire a Boeing 737 stimulator to further build the capacity of pilots. The Minister of Aviation had hysterically disclosed this while giving the scorecard of his ministry in Abuja, noting that the government had acquired an automated fire stimulator. Sirica said that the Nigerian aviation sector was the second most recovered industry from COVID-19. He further said that because of the achievements recorded in the sector, Nigeria had been re-elected as a Part II member of the International Civil Aviation Organization Council. He noted that the upgrade of facilities at the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology had led to its designation by the ICAO as a regional training center of excellence, adding that AIB had also been upgraded to a multi-model accident investigation agency tagged National Transport Accident Investigation Board. The minister added that aviation leasing company, which will be private sector driven, will be established to address the challenges of limited access to capital and high cost of funds. Following the revenue decline of most states of the Federation, the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission has recommended more than 10 billion naira from the federal government's stabilization fund account to various states of the Federation for the period two years. The chairman of the commission, Mohamed Belo Shehu, who disclosed this in Abuja in a statement, informed that such recommendation is given in line with the provision of Section 57 of CAP A15-2004, under which the stabilization fund was established and empowers the commission to work out an acceptable threshold from the fund. This, according to Bell, was part of the federal government's efforts to settle and stabilize the displaced Nigerians who relocated from Bakasi Peninsula to the state after Nigeria's ceding of the peninsula to Cameroon in 2008. He maintained that the stabilization fund shall in such a case be used to initially augment the allocation to the state in accordance with the acceptable threshold to be worked out by RMAFC. In a statement, the public relations officer of the commission, Mr. Christian Wachuku, noted that Belo clarified that those recommendations for approval and payments are always in local currency. A shooting that sent four people to the hospital and another gun-related incident forced thousands of students at two Montreal area colleges to go into lockdown. Gunshots rang out at a park across the street from Montgomery College in the Montreal suburb of Laval. Police spokeswoman Genevieve Major told AFP four people who had been shot sought refuge at the college and were later taken to hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The college, which is attended by nearly 10,000 students and faculty, remained locked down into the evening as police swarmed the area in search of the shooter. Mayor Stephen Boyer tweeted that a police operation was underway, while television footage showed parents of students crowding the roads around the college after they rushed to the scene. Quibi Public Security Minister Francois Bonadel said in a Twitter post that the students in St. Jean sur Richelieu had experienced a difficult situation today. In our sports, the Nigeria Cricket Federation has announced a 14 member list 
ahead of the International Cricket Council T20 World Cup sub-regional qualifier B in Rwanda later this month. In a statement issued by Musa Ehizuje, public relations officer of the Federation, 20 players were invited to come in October before the final 14 were named. According to the statement, this tournament will also afford the new head coach and high-performance manager of the Federation, Steve Ticolo, an opportunity to set firsthand the team play in competitive mode. Ehiza just said the tournament is scheduled for Rwanda from November 28 to December 8 in Rwanda as Nigeria is drawn in Group B alongside Tanzania, Ghana, Sierra Leone, Mozambique, Eswatini, the Gambia and Cameroon. The top two teams and the tournament will progress to the next phase of qualification. Remember, you can follow ABS from many parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television, OK? Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television, OK? Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. Log on to our website, www.absradiotv.com. In our recap of the main points, Anambra State Government has urged residents to embrace tax payment as civic responsibility. Pace of work has accelerated on the Swakian Anchor Ground. Federal Government has acquired aircraft stimulator to build capacity of pilots. Two Montreal colleges have gone into lockdown following shootings in Canada. And here is a special message before we go. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let us give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that does it on the news for tonight. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Maureen Stone in Joki. Catch you for. Sleep in jeans.